Hi everyone, today we're going to be making Mauritian Briani finally. So many of you have requested this video so do you know what I prepared everything and I'm already stressed now. There's so many steps to this, I don't know how to do it. My mom's guiding me on the side, I cannot lie, okay. It's complex, okay, but I will write the recipe in detail in the info box and I'm going to try and make this as straightforward as possible. First thing I did was chop the potatoes which I'll show you right now. So once you've left your potatoes to drench in the yellow color kind of thing, we're going to move on to the chicken. Okay, so the first thing you want is chicken. I've cut into them, like sliced them a little bit. There's a pack of chicken thighs and a pack of chicken legs in here. Um, then you want some coriander, some chopped mint leaves. Uh, we already pre-prepare like uh, the um, garlic and ginger paste kind of thing. You're gonna need yogurt, grated onions. This is the garam masala. This is c'est quoi l'autre poudre? Chilani. C'est quoi? My grandma's recipe says chilani, which I think is cumin seed powder. Um, this is c'est quoi ça, maman? Non, ça les grains là. Uh, cumin seed. Cumin seed. So you got cumin seeds and the cumin seed powder, okay? And then you need some vegetable oil, some ghee and I think we're just gonna all mix this all up, okay? So we've got our big pan here. I'm gonna put all our chicken in here. I've got my glove on still because I was using the yellow powder and I just got my nails done. And we don't want the stain now, okay? I spent a lot of money on it. Then you wanna put your grated onions in. We're gonna put like a handful of chopped coriander. Put this much of chopped mint leaves. You want to put all the yogurt. This is 500 grams of plain yogurt. Now this might be different to some of your Mauritian recipes. I feel like every single one is tweaked, but they're all somewhat the same. But this is like my grandma's recipe. So don't come for me in the comments. Everyone has their own way of making them Mauritian biryani, okay? Then you want to put maybe like a big teaspoon and a half, tablespoon, sorry, and a half of ginger garlic. Take a full teaspoon of garam masala, two tablespoons of the cumin seeds. I was supposed to crush them in my hands, but I forgot, but it's too late now. And then two tablespoons of the cumin powder. Combien de ghee, je mets? Grosse cuillère. Grosse. One big tablespoon of ghee. Oh, and one big tablespoon of um this is vegetable oil i think just so you can see nice into the pan we're gonna mix this all up i've been told to put the, all of the, the ginger garlic paste this smells so yum already we just need the expert to step in okay Otherwise, I'm just gonna mess this up. No, don't wanna mess it up. I would say like that's like a pinch of it. Mmm, I just put more this summer, no? So you can't forget your cell. Cell. <laughs> can't forget your cell. Cell it well. Don't forget your um. Salt and pepper. 
don't forget some salt and pepper. We've used like big grains of salt here. Just gonna chuck it. It's like a small handful of it. My eyes are still burning from the onions I cut. I feel like cutting onions is already bad enough, but grating it, oh my god, that's a whole other level. Okay, so now you can start cooking this. I feel like if you want it to be like really tasteful, you can marinate this a bit, but we're just we're just gonna kick it, cook it straight away. Medium, high, high, high. Okay, so I'm putting this on high heat then. Okay, now we have some rice that has been washed. I'm gonna take three cardamom seeds. I hate this, but it adds a taste. Like, can you imagine like biting into this while you're eating? It's the nastiest thing, but it doesn't taste that as good without it. Combien de ça là? Ça se dit comment en anglais ça? Three cloves. Oh my god, these are even nastier. I know some people eat chew on these, but they're disgusting. No, it's cardamom. No, it's yeah, it's a cardamom. So these are three cloves. I'm gonna chuck it in there. Then I'll put my knife on top. Okay, so I've put five cups of rice and six cups of water. You just wanna put the fire on. I'm more of a rice cooker fan, but we're gonna use the traditional way. Let me know, whilst that's cooking, let me know what other Mauritian dishes I should try to make. I know you guys loved, loved, loved the curry one I did. There's some onion chopping going on in the background, but I, I'm so excited to do this one because like, it's like one of the best dishes out there and it like reminds me of my grandma. So it's just like, the perfect recipe guys i can't wait for you to try it and if you're a mauritian let me know what other recipes i should do maybe gâteau piment but i feel like that's really hard like why is mauritian food so hard to make like it's so yum but there's so much love and effort that goes into it we're also going to make um sachini um sachini tomat yeah. sachini from damu um because like the biryani is so nice with that sachini um, because we don't put chili in the actual biryani, we put chili in that, in like the salad kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make that. Whilst you're watching, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Please subscribe, it really helps me. And yeah, stay tuned for more cooking videos, guys. Quick update, look how lush that is looking. I wish you could smell this through the camera, it's amazing when i tell you i was suffering cutting those um, onions i'm gonna emphasize on that I'm, i was the suffering that took place in this video and that was the onion cutting i needed help to cut these because i had enough with the grated ones update on the rice you want to slowly mix it whilst it's cooking we drained the potatoes and we're gonna dump them in here give it a good stir is you want to like boil oil not boil heat up some oil and then you want to take your chopped onions it's getting a bit crowded here you just want to put them to fry rice you don't want to cook it completely you want to have it like almost cooked put all the cooked chicken and potatoes in a separate bowl we have our rice separately and so we're gonna start layering layering each bit okay so we've put some of the yellow color powder with some water here okay so i'm taking the rice and i'm gonna do like little layers of this Trying to hold my breath. Like inside the pan. It's like amazing tracking shots. Wow, I'm trying to like line it up perfectly. 
the way you do it. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> Why? You went too far. Enlève les 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 lightly et trucs hein. Si tu les trouves. What's a lightly? Lightly. Cardamom. Ow. Ow. Try and find the cloves and the cardamoms and try and get them out if you can because it's not nice when you bite into one. And it they're nasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually only had it twice. Do you like it though? Yeah, I like that. Why'd you stop having it? Oh, Putting the fried onions in. These are like what makes it sweet. Yeah. Like, have you tasted one of these onions? It's so yum. Okay, now we're gonna mix it all. More folding motion. Could you eat this whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> I was getting too excited there. Have to cover it and let it sit for a bit. <gasps> so for our sachini tomato, we put tomatoes, like two big ones, and then we put a little bit of finely chopped onion, some coriander, and also we're gonna put some chilies in there. So this is what our salads are looking like. This is our carrot and cucumber one. We added in both um, vinegar, a bit of lemon juice and salt and pepper. Mmm, now I'm putting some of the potato, sachini, tomate. Tom damu. Tom damu. And there we go, voila, voila. Take the take the ugly spoon out. You don't want to put the plate there. I want to make sure to cut that out. It's now taste test time. I know that's a lot of food, but I can actually eat all this. It's so yum. Anyways, when taste is my first time making it, although I did get a lot of help, but I still made it. right amount of salt flavor mm, you have to get it with the salads so yum too good it's too good i can't sit i'm sorry i love you guys but i need to enjoy this food so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and shout out to my mum and my grandma because it's my grandma's recipe. My mum helped me a lot to make this. <coughs> Definitely wouldn't have been able to by myself. But hopefully from this video and the recipe in the info box, you can make it yourself. It's not that bad. There's just loads of steps and coordination that goes on. Right. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.